So this is a cool little demo. This water has just boiled, but it's not currently boiling. What temperature does water boil at? And of course, that'll say 100 degrees Celsius. Put my finger on the top and expand the syringe. Hmm. It's boiling. The boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius. Well, well now I say to them, the boiling water point of water is 100 degrees Celsius at sea level, at atmospheric pressure. There is 100 kilopascals, which is 100,000 newtons per square meter. So it's actually a pretty high pressure. It's 100,000 newtons on every single meter squared area. Okay, so what's happening when I trap that air in there? I've got the same mass of gas in a larger volume, so that is a much lower pressure. You feel that. So you've got to imagine the water at about 80 degrees sitting here under atmospheric pressure. There's particles in that which are, they have enough energy to leave the surface, but they don't because there are particles in the air which are actually bombarding the surface of the water as well. So it's the effect of these particles which collide with the surface of the water and keep the water particles in the liquid, they stop them boiling in other words. But in the syringe at that very low pressure, there are many particles moving around at very high energies to bombard the surface and therefore keep the particles in the water. So it boils and you can see that bubbling, which is the water turning to steam, in other words, a gas. To describe that, what we're describing is uh, gas pressure as a whole bunch of particles colliding with all the surfaces more or less often. You can do the opposite, you can take the same mass of gas and you can compress that into a smaller area and then you know that gas is now at a higher pressure. More often means that they're going to do higher forces on those areas so it's going to be a higher gas pressure. So it's really atmospheric pressure that allows us to explain why a hot air balloon rises. You heat the balloon and the gas actually expands. It's got no extra mass inside there, so inside there you've got a kind of lower pressure than outside. And that means that there's a pressure difference from outside to in. And air tends to want to move from a higher pressure to a lower pressure. And that means there's a net force upwards on the balloon. And we call that net force an upthrust. And if that net force is greater than its weight, then the balloon will accelerate upwards. But why is upthrust up? And I think this is an absolutely crucial thing to understand. If you imagine that is submerged in a column of fluid, and that fluid being the air, there's a slightly higher pressure lower down. So there's a slightly higher pressure underneath the balloon as there is above. So the net action of that air trying to get into that balloon is upwards. Amazing really, and that just shows you what a large pressure, atmospheric pressure really is. Okay.